Hello everyone, this is Dr. Matakshi Bhatt and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about Facebook ad objectives. Okay, the very first step in creating a Facebook ad campaign is deciding your Facebook ad objectives. Now there are six objectives in present scenario. There are six objectives which have been given by Facebook. We are going to discuss one by one every objective. When you market your products or your business or your services, it has to be aligned with the specific purpose. That is, you have to be very precise or I can say laser like precise. Okay, because when you will be specific, you can choose onto the uh, specific objective which has been given by Facebook and therefore the return on your investment is going to be more. Your ads will be more converted. This is going to help us reach tangible results. So choosing the right objective is going to ensure that the right kind of people are seeing your advertisement. So let us now understand it in detail. Now let us first understand how does this Facebook generally works. Okay. You must have seen that uh, when you scroll through the Facebook uh, page, there are certain advertisements which are visible to you or you can say the certain category of products which you are interested in they are more visible as compared to others okay why does this really happen or how is facebook actually analyzing that you are looking for these certain category of products it is giving you multiple options of different brands of different products how we will have to understand that Facebook is not a genius, but rather it is working on a certain algorithm. Okay, so this algorithm is basically analyzing the past behavior of the people. So if I click on certain advertisement, this is being realized by Facebook. This data has been recorded by Facebook that, okay, this person is interested in certain this particular category of products or this brand so facebook is going to make efforts of showing me similar kind of products again and again of different brands how it is happening algorithm of facebook is basically analyzing this past behavior of the people and therefore it is predicting the future actions now when we talk about deciding the facebook objective why is it very necessary to be very specific when we are choosing the objective for example, let's say you have the objective of selling the product. Okay, let's say. But the Facebook objective that you have chosen is of traffic. Now, what will happen in case of traffic? The algorithm, the Facebook algorithm is going to search for the people or the users who can click, who can simply click on the advertisements rather than the people who are interested in buying your product. Before deciding the business objectives, we need to first analyze our business goals. Okay, because business goals is something which is going to let us know how do we how do we actually want to advertise our products or our brand. Okay, at which stage of the business cycle is your business at present? Because at every stage your purpose is going to be different okay the more specific with, uh, you are with your purpose the better your advertisement is going to give you the return okay the converting rate would be more okay so generally if i categorize the business goal they are your short term goals which are generally between one to five years of time span and there are your long term goals which are five years and beyond okay so what generally happens is when you want to see how do you want to see your business in long uh, term okay where do you want to actually take your business in long years that is your long term goals now once you analyze your business goals it is also essential that you analyze your the stage of the buying cycle of your target audience why this whole process is very essential so that you get a good return on investment okay whatever you are investing the money that you're invest investing in your advertisements you have to get a good return you want your advertisements to get converted now remember something see clear and precise goals plus your key performance indicators 
KPIs which is known as the key performance indicators if they are very clear if you are very clear with what you actually want what you are expecting out of uh, your advertisements this will help you to measure the success of your advertisement or keep a track of your advertisement okay now what is this odax okay so odax is basically your outcome driven ad experiences okay so this was basically made by facebook in 2022 why did actually facebook went for these six objectives where earlier it had 11 objectives now let us first discuss the benefits of using this facebook ad campaign the very first benefit is that if you have decided your marketing goals if you are very clear and precise with your marketing goals you can easily align it with the facebook ad objectives because facebook gives you options what you want to opt for okay the second benefit i can say is the cross channel campaign now this cross channel campaign can help you target your audience both in your facebook as well as your instagram so this is one of the essential benefit okay you can use the same ad objectives and you can target the audience the various audience in your facebook as well as your instagram so now let us check it practically i'm going to follow the same procedure here you can see ad accounts now i'm going to click open in ads manager create now these are the campaign objectives okay now let us discuss it one by one okay the very first is your awareness campaign and we can see over here it is good for what kind of uh, objectives which if we are looking for reach if we are looking for brand awareness if we are looking for video views and store location awareness okay so basically if you see uh, awareness when does this happen uh, when we have to make the people aware of our existence of the products or the services that you are offering okay so basically at this stage if we say if i relate it to the sales uh, funnel or the marketing funnel this particular advertisement campaign is going to be uh, relevant at uh, at the top of the funnel stage the tofu stage that we had discussed okay because here you would want your audience to be aware about you in case if you your uh, you know if you have a very complex kind of a product maybe a product where you have to explain a lot more about its uh, benefits or uh, a, a more detailed information has to be given to the audience in that case maybe you cannot put across everything or the whole story in one single ad so what are you going to do in that case you will make an advertisement which will be more uh, you can say focused towards picking the interest of the people and then you can redirect your viewers to your websites your blog posts or your videos or the guides and any other material where you want your relevant viewers to check the detailed information about your products or the services okay and in case if you have a less complex product that means a product which is sufficient enough to be understood in one single advertisement the, you can explain in one single advertisement maybe the story the whole story of the uh, of your brand or the story of the product the whole content that you want to give uh, you know which can be in the precise form and that is sufficient enough to explain or uh, make it uh, understood to the viewers so in that case one single ad with will work so if I say this kind of advertisement, the target is basically to reach your cold audience. Later on, we are going to also see at the ad set level because we've not um, yet studied that. But uh, just to be precise, at the ad set level, if you will see, you will have to optimize your ads again. Okay, where you would look for probably impressions, reach and your ad recall lift reach if i talk about this is basically to target as many people as possible you want to basically grow your audience ad lift is basically uh, the facebook users are basically being asked whether they had they can recall seeing your advertisements which they had seen earlier okay this is basically uh, more based on uh, the estimated metric which is based upon the polls next is traffic it is good for link clicks it is good for landing page views it is good for messenger instagram and whatsapp calls instagram profile visits 
your advertisers can reach the target audience and direct them to the websites so this traffic uh, objective is going to be used for that purpose okay now business over here normally what happens they combine their content marketing with their traffic uh, campaign objective this is basically done to increase the traffic to the website there's more people will visit your website and the product pages so here you are basically laying the uh, groundwork or the base for your conversion campaigns now what are these conversion campaigns this would happen in the uh, after uh, this traffic stage how because when people visit your website they uh, you get data of the custom audience which you can use later to retarget with your conversion advertisements okay so the data or the information about their email id or uh, their uh, contact information or other uh, you know information that you want you have asked uh, at this stage which is which can be further utilized in the conversion campaigns a key point over here to remember is that you need to have pixel okay you need to install facebook pixel on the website first why because when you go through these various stages of the ad campaigns pixel is actually you can say the code that is tracking each action or the conversion of the users on your website because this is you can say a tool the pixel is actually a tool which is basically collecting the information because of facebook uh, pixel the facebook is going to get information about who to target uh, where do we, where uh, uh, do we have to maximize the conversion or with what kind of advertisements has to be shown to what kind of an audience okay now in case you have a brand in your pixel and you straight away go for this conversion okay in that case what will happen facebook would not have any kind of a data with respect to because you have not gone through all these stages and therefore pixel is going to have less data comparatively or no data right so in that case it will not work positively the so next is your engagement campaign now the engagement campaign is a campaign which is good for your messenger instagram again whatsapp it is good for video views post engagement also it is good for conversions and calls okay so here if we see in a layman term if i say you are engagement campaign is a campaign which you are going to run when you want to make your ads viral okay we engage our audience when to explore us more and more for maximum time and more frequently here if you see the objective will help you to get more shares likes comments okay so basically you are kind of interacting on your ad posts posts okay you can use promos info posts news etc with the help of this engagement campaign you can reach people who are more likely to take your offers or participate in your uh, events you can set all forms of interactions over here with your with the page over here now in case if you're looking for immediate action of purchase if you want your audience to take immediate action of purchase engagement campaign is not the campaign that you're going to go for here if we talk about video views it can be set for few second views and if we talk about conversions this is basically to prompt actions in your website okay or apps or messenger whatsapp okay to either add to cart or purchase next you're going to go to leads okay now leads is one of the uh, advertisement campaign which is going to be best for messages calls instant forms sign ups now at this stage you are going to cater to individuals who have some prior information about you okay the audience need to know about you that means leads generating leads comes when you have already made the public aware about yourself okay about your brand and these are the people who have somehow shown a very keen interest in what you are offering these can be the people who can be your potential customers one thing to remember is you collect leads you collect leads in exchange of 
exclusive offers okay so basically at this level you can go for conversions you are you are offering uh, a broader scope of channels uh, is there being offered by facebook for conversions the, the location can be your website your instant forms messenger calls next is app promotion so this kind of an advertisement campaign is best used for app installs and app events okay app install means when you are you have an application and you want uh, people to use your application download your applications and app events when you want to convert people using your app uh, applications uh, here the facebook is going to target people within your target audience who have greater chance to install your applications okay so uh, either the, uh, it is going to direct to app stores or google play in this case if i see the basic product over here is your application only okay and this is going to be more applicable in case of your mobile phones because applications uh, are more uh, able to be downloaded in case of androids or other the last is sales now this kind of an advertisement campaign if you will see this is the last category of the advertisement campaign the facebook advertisement campaign this is the final objective it is going to uh, be used or it is best for conversions it can be used for catalog sales it can be used for messenger instagram whatsapp also it can be used uh, in case of calling also now, as this is the final stage it is going to be used for the hot leads okay who have a strong buying intent because these are the people who know you or your businesses or your products okay so when we talk with respect to sales funnel again this will be the campaign which is going to be used for the people who are at the bofu stage the bottom of the funnel stage okay and hence these are the people who just need some reminders to buy or you can say some kind of a last push to take some this final action of purchasing your product now if we talk with respect to what are conversions we know already catalog sales now this is going to be for the commerce business where you have collection of you can say items uh, and uh, the detailed information is there with you okay in case of an e-commerce business so uh, why because this, this catalog sales is basically giving personalized sales experience personalized sales experience means that here you are getting the detailed information about the product that is being offered this personalized shopping experience is to target your audience in the social feeds only so example if you are into a thermal wear okay the purchaser or you can say the the visitor he visited your website but did not went for the purchase so in that case you may here use facebook platform to remind him or her about what they had previously looked at giving them a small amount of push uh, to purchase them now itself again if i talk about it is very necessary it is very necessary that we should be having pixel pixel facebook pixel in our website first because obviously as i said pixel is an app you can say which is basically collecting the data so this data needs to be collected of the people who are the people who are actually interested in buying your products who are the people who are simply uh, not that much interested are, are in in your products or if even if they are interested in which category of the products they are more uh, you know interested into so this is going this data will be collected by pixel only uh, now messenger instagram and whatsapp this can be used in case you are accepting payments here a question may arise that sometimes the advertisements these advertisements that you are even after selecting the best category of the advertisements they do not get converted or they do not work properly so in that case you can basically run the test advertisements also say for example you are running ad campaigns uh, you know identical ad campaigns you can run uh, maybe two or more okay with different objectives here okay and uh, run them for a week or so so that you get the response which category is more working so that way you get an idea as to which one is more working and you can use it further so i hope you have understood these ad campaigns in details we are going to uh, see you in the next video then thank you